Hello and uh, welcome to this uh, video about uh, chapter 5. Um, in earlier videos we crossed the capacitated plant location model. That was a model used in phase 2 of the uh, framework for supply chain decisions. Uh, in this video we we'll cross the gravity location model. The gravity uh, location model is a model used in uh, phase 3 of the same uh, framework. Um, during phase 3 a manager identifies potential locations in each location where the company has decided to locate a plant. As a preliminary stage, the manager needs to identify the geographic location where potential sites can be uh, considered. Gravity location models can be useful when identifying suitable ge geographic locations within a region. Gravity models are used to find locations that minimize cost of transporting raw materials from suppliers and finished goods to markets served. In um, uh, gravity location uh, models we assume that both markets and supply sources can be located as a grid points on a plane. All distances are calculated in a geometric distance between two points on the plane. These models also assume that the transportation grows linearly with um, the quantity shipped. Uh, we discussed the gravity model for locating a single facility that receives um, raw material from supply sources and ships uh, finished products to markets. So what, uh, uh, what we do is there is uh, only one facility, um, it may be uh, production, distribution, uh, storage, and it receives, it transforms uh, the goods and it sends it off to other, um, uh, 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 to other retailers or other manufacturers or let it be. Uh, the gravity location model is uh, not a very difficult model. The, the previous model is a bit uh, is a bit more complicated. Um, it works with the uh, x and y coordinates for the location, may it be market or may it be supply source. Fn is the cost of shipping for one unit uh, for one mile between the facility and either market or supply source. Mile can also be a, a, a kilometer and unit of shipping can be, uh, can be a truckload, can be a ton, can be uh, a pallet, can be a crate, whatever, uh, whatever one unit is, um, is applicable in your, uh, in your particular case. Uh, Dn is the quantity to be shipped between the facility or market or supply source. And as you can see here, it's all with geometric distances. Um, in the example used in the book, they're, uh, they're using an example of uh, steel appliances. Yes, steel appliances. And uh, with steel appliances, has, uh, uh, the general manager wants to create a new uh, facility. That facility has three uh, suppliers, one in Buffalo, Memphis, and St. Louis, and supplies to five markets, Atlanta, Boston, Jacksonville, Philadelphia, and New York. The uh, transportation, in this case per ton per mile, is 90, 95, 85, and all uh, uh, 1.50 of, um, of facility. The quantity to be shipped in is 500, 300, 700, and the quantity shipped out is these are these 
Um, as this, these all work with coordinates, these are the x coordinates and these are the y coordinates. What is the, uh, the objective? What do we like to achieve with the gravity location model? It's again uh, cost minimization. Uh, this cost minimization was also um, the case uh, in um, phase two because the, uh, the main objective is to reduce uh, total cost within the supply chain. So this is also what we are uh, going to do here. Uh, for the gravity location model, we also have uh, the solver. A solver we explain, I'll explain uh, uh, later. Uh, the numbers uh, just uh, discussed, you also see here. And this one also uses a solver for solving the, um, uh, uh, the model. The, uh, the final solution will end up with an X and a Y coordinate where the total cost is the lowest as possible. Uh, please remember that uh, the x and the y coordinates can very well be not on, an, uh, on a very uh, feasible place, but then you try to uh, look for, an, um, for a location close by those uh, coordinates that have, uh, for example, suitable workforce and has a suitable political location. Uh, the formulas we use are in uh, cell uh, G5 and B19. You see the formulas here. The equations you find in the book are equation uh, 1, 5.1 and 5.2 and they are copied to these locations in the Excel spreadsheet. Now we go to the uh, solver that's available on the Blackboard site. You go to the Blackboard site and then to chapter 5. Here are all other videos. And the one uh, we're currently talking about is the steel appliances. It's this one. So this is the this is the steel appliances um, uh, solver. Um, we see that uh, all the numbers are already filled in here. So these are the sources to the facility, and the facility produces um, uh, goods in this case uh, refrigerators and it ships to these uh, these cities and uh, the facility location should be here at uh, x and y and the cost will be this and just as with the last um, uh, solver we uh, last spreadsheet we used the solver again in Dutch it's again oplosser and here it is the cost of the minimization cost is 1265 US dollars and the best location is 681 and 882. Um, so when you got an, uh, uh, when you got a grid, you know at what exact coordinate, coordinate the best location is for cost minimization. Again, these uh, uh, this location cannot be feasible uh, most of the times. So then you have to uh, find a source and uh, a place that is more feasible in the uh, uh, in the vicinity.
Um, as you also see here, that there are costs incurred by uh, receiving goods. Um, these costs can very well be incurred when the um, when the costs are incurred by you, but some of some uh, of the time, the costs are incurred not by you but by your supplier. So then the cost can very well be for you, for example, just point one, point one, point one. And these costs incurred are uh, costs for materials handling, for offloading the truck, for getting it into your uh, storage facility, for example. And when you do so, we also see that uh, the facility location dramatically change. We again use sulfur, solve. And we see that the uh, new best location is 9.25 and 9.75 as, uh, as it used to be 6.81 and 8.82. So um, a change in, uh, in cost incurred can have a dramatic uh, change of the optimal position of your um, uh, of your facility. Um, thank you very much for uh, watching to this video about uh, phase three uh, uh, gravity uh, uh, location gravity models. Um, if you have any uh, questions, please do not hesitate to send me an email or to come by in one of our Blackboard collaboration sessions.